viewers welcome to my channel Emiriki stitches today i'm going to take you on how to make a dashiki short dress dress that you can use only a few minutes to make it within five to ten minutes and you can rock it to any occasion of your choice thank you very much the measurement i'm going to use for this is this is the measurement we're going to use for it full length half length bust line hips line bust the hip shape and the shoulder can see the measurement that we're going to use for this illustration and this is the fabric i'm going to use i'm going to use one and a half yard of the fabric to make this danshiki short dress one and a half yard i'm going to use is because of my client measurements she's not too late at first so we're going to start by folding it i'm folding it one after the other i'm going to bring out the front bodies differently and the back bodies separately too because she wants a zipper at the back but you can still fold it all at the same time the first thing i'm going to do is to fold my material in my fabric into two and i'll fold it into two I'm going to fold it according to the hip measurement, which is the highest measurement that we have there. And her hip here is 34 with additional allowance of 2 inches. So I have to measure it, you see. Her hip is 34. 34 divided by 4. We're going to have eight and a half plus two inches we're going to have eleven and a half so i'm going to drag my fabric out to eleven and a half so that it will not be waste exactly Sure, you have 11 and a half. Yes, we now have 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Okay. First measurement we're going to take here is the full length of the dress. The full length that we have here is 36. So we start here, not from where you have the line of the fabric, because we need to cut that part out. Mark, take the full length 36 inches. We have 36 here. Mark it out. 36. Then you add your bending allowance of 2 inches. After you mark your shoulder, the shoulder here is 14. It's 14 divided by 2, you have 7. You mark the ham O, a uh, ham O here is going to be 7.5. Since it's going to be a kimono, I won't really cut out the ham O, but I'll just create it. Use your cuffs to create the ham O. On the line of her arm holes, you mark her bust. Her bust here we have 23. 23 divided by 4, you now have 8 quarter. You add additional allowance of 2 inches. Sewing allowance. Then her half length here is 15. But I'm going to take 14 in this case. Reason is just a straight top, and I really want the cuff to come out on top. I don't really want it to really go down. So I'm going to take minus one and take 14. This is where we have a half length, half cut. 14. On that 14, I'll mark her shape. Her shape here is 25. 25 divided by 4. You have 
25 is 6 quarter. And you still had additional allowance of 2 inches. You still mark and then mark her hip line. Her hip line is 23. That one, we're not going to subtract anything. We take that 23. 23. On that 23, you mark her hips. Her hips here is 34. 34 divided by 2 is going to give you 8 and a half. You still add additional allowance of 2 inches. Then you go down to the M. Our M is going to be 34, which is our hips minus 2. You have 32. So you mark the 32, which is 8. As divided by 4. 32 divided by 4 is 8. You add your 2 inches allowance too. Then we can now connect our... We start from the real shape. Connect it. Use your cork. To connect this, and you connect it to the the end. The same thing you do, you do it to the allowance too. You connect it this time instead of you to take it to the allowance of the end since you need the thread to come out you now connect it down here to where you have the penciling of the fabric this is how you connect it so that after joining you notice that the danchiki will drip from here you now slope your shoulder by inch since we need a kimono sleeve to continue then you join them so what we have then the neckline I climbed ones around neck but I think um round or sweetheart neck in this case i'm going to give a sweetheart neck so it's three and a half for the up neck then for her down neck i'll take five and a half then i'll connect cut it out and go down I've added another extra little allowance here to cotton so that it will not really look tight on her legs when she's wearing it. So I'm going to use this front bodies to play to bring out the back bodies so i'm going to do the same thing i did do the same folding but this time i'm going to add a zipper allowance which is one inch for the zipper you pull your fabric again my front bodies on this to bring out my back 
then I've kept additional allowance of one inch here in front for the zip. She wants a zip. So the only difference here is that since the back and the front both have the same neckline, I'm going to create a new neckline. It's going to be three. I'm going to take the same thing I took here aside from the zip allowance here. It is a one inch. After the zip allowance, I'm going to still mark my three and a half for the up neck. Then I'll take here one and a half. So I want to tap it behind. So I'll cut it out. Open up my zip allowance. my front and back bodies as you can see you need to you can turn yours with lining my client is not going to add lining to us she just all what we're going to do can use also by us to pipe around it to have a neat job and you sew the zipper allowance for the back close it first before you join the shoulder and that's all for your sewing after turning it, you can add your zipper. This is for the front the back bodies and this for the front bodies. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this section. Please don't fail to subscribe. Thank you.